the operation is in full swing. Rescuers have been trying to clear out this heap of rubble all the way into the night, non-stop. They are still sifting through it right now. And yes, they are still looking for survivors. In fact, they're doing everything they can to increase the chances of finding ones. Like on Tuesday, for example, they installed heat cannons, aimed, aiming them under the debris just to help those who could still be trapped alive there while brave the freezing temperatures. It is around minus 20 Celsius outside right now. But I have to admit, the hopes of finding anybody alive now, well, they are going slimmer and slimmer. But after all, they were already slim on Tuesday when one worker, when a few, a group of workers, I guess, heard a muffled baby cry going from underneath the rubble. That was 10-month-old Vanya. He spent more than 30 hours trapped amid concrete blocks and lived. <laughs> One of the rescuers heard a child crying. We stopped all the machinery to listen in. We were saying to keep quiet, and the baby was reacting and kept silent. We started asking, where are you? Then there was a noise. We started working there, but there was a risk of further collapse. We were afraid, as the child was crying for help. In fact, the worker who saved the life of Vanya, he got the clue of where to find him from his dad. The father was at work, and when he learned of the tragedy, he rushed back to the place he used to call home. And amid that rubble, he spotted the couch where his wife had been sleeping. And so he kind of positioned the location of the crib, judging by where the couch was. And uh, he spent more than a day really trying to get here because the whole place is cordoned off and he wasn't allowed to get inside. But he eventually sneaked into and he pointed at the place where he believed his son was. And he was correct. I could have shown them immediately where my son probably was, but we weren't allowed at the site. I managed to get there and show the rescuers the place. I got acquainted with one rescuer who later called me to say that they'd found my son. His wife and mother of the baby was asleep with the elder son in a neighboring room, and so the blast caught her asleep. They fell through concrete, and they were among the first who managed to get out alive from this building even before the eventual complete collapse. We talked to her too. The story of Vanya and his family is a dramatic one for sure, and the whole city really takes it. We talk to many people who haven't even been affected by the tragedy directly, and they all think they all talk about it as of a New Year's miracle, really. But there are others who have been affected indirectly. There are those who believe that there could be their relatives still trapped underneath there. And they hope for a miracle of their own.